What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. So, uh, what we're going to do in this video is some more testing with the magnetic dust. A new test, a different test than we've done before. We've got several different ideas, some things that we need to do, some things that we need to check out. And uh, this is a test that was suggested by several of you. So we're going to check it out. It's going to be a several part test. You'll see what I mean in just a minute when we get into it. And um, to recap anybody, I suggest you go back and watch the magnetic dust videos over the past few weeks to catch up on everything we're talking about and why we're doing this. But to sum it up, uh, these are dust samples that I am, I have been collecting from fresh fallen skies. Whatever this is, is in the sky, it's in the air, it's what we're breathing, uh, it's in our water, it's everywhere. We found it to be magnetic, which is disturbing. Uh, people have, you know, tried to say it's pollen, whatever. Definitely not pollen. Um, just the fact that it's magnetic alone should wrap that up for most people, but that's not always the case. We don't know what it is. We're working on trying to get it tested. In the meantime, we're doing backyard science. Get the light back. We're doing backyard science to, uh, just figure out what we can figure out. I'm not an actual scientist. As we know, I'm a backyard scientist doing what I can do as I can do it, what together we can think of and sharing everything with you. No matter what the result is, sharing it with you so we can see it together. So let's get into it. Let's check out this new test. All right, so one of the tests that uh, we've been thinking about, talking about, and something that was suggested by some of you was to maybe test some of the dust uh, some of the dust in there with a plant or flower or something, put it in the water and see what happens. So that's a good idea. So to all of you who had that idea, suggested that, awesome, good on you. Uh, we're going to give that a try. So this is dust that I just collected today. Let's see, let me see down in there a little bit um, because, like I said, if you've been following this whole saga, it has continued to fall and quite a bit was out there today after the skies I've been showing you and all that. So um, I collected a bit today. And first, what we're going to do real quick, I've got another angle here that I'm going to show you some close up views so you can see everything. We're going to make sure that we've got magnetic material in here. I've already seen that we do, but I just want everybody to see it too. And this is going to be obviously a multi part test. We'll keep checking in and seeing. Um, seeing how this goes, how it's going. We mainly want to see the uh, the difference between water and water with dust. So I'll, I'll tell you about the plants that we have here in just a second. But first, we're going to sprinkle out some of this dust. Now, again, this is dust that I collected today. So this is not the uh, burned or melted sample that we, we burned the other day. All right. Talk about what I've got here going in just a second. First, we're going to test this. All right, we're going to spread this out just a little bit here, just for the sake of the magnet test, so it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. Like I said, I can see this, and you know, a lot of you can do this yourselves too, but I'm trying to do everything that I can to show everyone as accurately as I can exactly what we're seeing, what I'm seeing. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here with this other angle. We're gonna bring this magnet in here and start seeing if we got magnetism. Yes, we sure do. No doubt about that. Wow. Yeah, I'd say we got some magnetism, huh? Wow, look at that, look at that. That's crazy. Not a good thing, but it's what we're looking for. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to scrape this back off of here. We're going to put it for the moment back into the container. And then we'll go through this process. I'll explain it to you real quick. What I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the way I'm doing it. Dump this back in here. I'm trying to do the best test that I can think of without wasting too much of this stuff because it, it actually takes a long time to collect. 
samples as big as I've collected. And, you know, in the grand scheme, they're not that big. It, they're big, you know, considering what it is. But, all right. So, I've got two little cups here. And what I chose are daisies. Daisies because my wife, Twisted Lady Luck, uh, suggested that they usually last a long time. These are fresh. Today, I've trimmed them to very small equal stems. I did that so short because I want to use a little bit of dust in just a little bit of water. And that's for the sake of time. So we can follow this, this test process without, um, without it taking, you know, weeks. That's my thinking anyway. I don't know. You let me know. So the water, it's an unopened bottle of just store brand spring water, which is what we're going to use for both of them. Oh, first what we're going to do, we're going to label the one on the left, dust. And we'll put the date on it too. Dust. Four. This is kind of sloppy. 27. No, it's not 427. That's my daughter's birthday. 04. 07. 23. All right. And here, just... We'll put the date on this one, too. A 4, 27. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> 04, 07, 23. Got her birthday on the mind. Probably thinking babies because we're our newest one. Our newest little princess is almost here very, very soon. We're uh, less than two months away, so that's very exciting. All right, now it's all messy because I had to scribble it out, but we've got one labeled dust with the date and the other one with just a date. So we're gonna put equal parts water in both of these, or at least, you know, the best we can. Close enough anyway. Do it about halfway, I suppose. About something like that. The same water in this one. And I want to show you this. I know a lot of, a lot of you will appreciate why I'm doing it like this. Um, just because I want to accurately show what I'm doing every step of the way. I want you to see it's the same water. I want you to see it's a dust. It's like that one had a speck more. I think we're about even now. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put a bit of dust into this one. Then we're going to put the plants, the daisies, in there, and uh, we're going to set them somewhere together in the same area. And we're going to wait and see. I don't know how much I want to use. Like I said, I don't want to waste too much. And I don't know how much we need. That's kind of a lot, isn't it? Is that a lot, you think? You see that? Is that a lot? Oh, well, that's what we're going to use. In we go. In we go. Now we're going to stir it up. And we just want to see the effect, if any, this mystery substance has on life, you know, has on nature. Because if you remember, and I know you do, uh, this is the stuff that's falling from our sky. So this is what we are breathing. This is what's falling into our water, our animals, our livestock, our gardens, you know what I mean? It's not good. There's quite a big difference here. It makes that water sure look disgusting. I'll show you another angle here. Pretty gross, that water, huh? Pretty gross. Let's show you that it's been stirred fairly well. Then maybe what we'll do after this experiment, too, maybe we'll filter and dry this out, see if it's still magnetic. And you say this, this, you see this one's clean clear nothing in it dust in this one all right stirred pretty good now i i don't really have a chosen one here i don't know which one's going to which any mini mini mo i chose these two uh they were about the same size the most similar from the whole bunch of daisies that i got so these are the two for the test don't care which one goes in what so start the clock now so here we go. Put your comments 
into the comments your suggestions, your ideas, your thoughts. How do you think this is going to go? I'm very, very curious. And uh, we're going to find out because open minds and awake eyes, open eyes, we look into things. We don't just shrug and say, huh, probably nothing. We look into it. So there you have that. I'm very curious to see how that's going to play out, what's going to happen with that. Um, I don't know what to expect. I think I have some suspicions uh, that many of you probably share. Um, that's a long lasting flower. So I don't know if it's going to be prolonged because of that, or it'll actually be disturbing if we see drastic results quickly because those flowers last so long. But share your thoughts, share your comments, more suggestions, feel free, leave them too. And uh, we'll keep checking in on this and see how it progresses. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Twist of Luck Troop. See you soon.